Hey there, and welcome back to the At Home Dive YouTube channel. My name is Joey, and today we're gonna to be making potato salad. It's perfect for everything from family picnics to dinners. So, sit back, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. On the counter tonight, our ingredients are pretty simple, but they're all delicious and very important. So we've got about three pounds of potatoes here. These have all been washed really, really well. You can peel yours if you like. We also have about four ounces of bacon here that's been rendered out nice and crispy. So you can see we left the fat in there still and that's gonna help us out here in just a minute. We have one cup of diced onion, one cup of diced carrot, three cloves of garlic that are shaved really thin. We also have one and a half cups of mayonnaise with two and a half tablespoons of Dijon mustard. We have one half cup of pickles and three stalks of celery. We also have two tablespoons of parsley here and two tablespoons of dill that are over here on the side. And we've got three eggs. We've also got paprika here just to top it off for the finish, just to give it a nice color and a little bit of depth and flavor. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do whenever we get going here is we're gonna put the bacon in the fat back on and we're gonna turn it on low heat. We're gonna go ahead and put the carrots, onion, and the garlic directly in there with it. And we're gonna cover it and let it ride on that low heat and hopefully bring everything soft and kind of cook the sharpness out of the garlic and onions. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reach over and put the eggs on and we're gonna cover the eggs with water and turn the heat on high and bring them up to a boil. Once they come to a boil, we're gonna set a timer for seven minutes. Back to the potatoes. We're gonna take these potatoes and dice them into cold water with about two tablespoons of salt. Sweet. So now that we got those potatoes diced and in salted cold water, we're gonna go ahead and put them on medium high heat and bring them up to a boil slowly. But this is a good chance to go ahead and check on our bacon, onion, garlic, and carrots. And so basically we're just gonna give them a nice stir here. So you can see it's starting to work a little bit of magic in there. Everybody's starting to get to know each other. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it back on and come back and check on it here in a bit. All right, looks like our water has just now came to a boil. So we're gonna go ahead and set that seven minute timer and we'll see you then. All right guys, that's it. So it's been a full seven minutes and we're gonna pull the eggs straight out of the boiling water and go right into ice water. And now we're gonna set them aside and come back later. Our potatoes are now coming up to a boil, so we're just gonna go ahead and reduce the heat on those. Uh, because we don't want them to boil, we just want them to do a light simmer for the next little bit until they're tender. Also, if we take a look over here, we can see that the garlic is nice and translucent and so are the onions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them onto a sheet tray Spread them out and stick them in the refrigerator to cool down. But we're gonna go ahead and check our potatoes. And if your potatoes pass the fork test or if you have a cake tester, just a simple clean poke through. And if they're getting soft, we're gonna go ahead and drain those and put those on the sheet tray with this to cool down. All right, so we got them spread out nice and even here so that they cool pretty quickly. And we're gonna go ahead and stick those in the refrigerator and come back when they're totally cool to the touch. All right, while we wait, this is a good time to go ahead and peel and chop these eggs. Now that the eggs are chopped, this is a good chance to go ahead and throw in the pickles, the celery, and the herbs. Once you got that in, go ahead and add in the mayonnaise and mustard. Get everything mixed together. All right guys, our potatoes are nice and cold, and so are the carrots and such. So we're just gonna rake everything into this medium-sized bowl. And give it a good stir. I'm gonna do this without trying to mash up the potatoes too bad. I just wanna stir everything together and get everything nice and coated. And now that everything's kinda of coming together and all nice and smooth and creamy, go ahead and taste it and see if you need to add any salt or pepper to it. I added one and a half teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. All right guys, well that wraps us up on the how to make potato salad video. Thank you very much for watching. Comment below and let me know how yours turns out. 